Allow me to preface this by stating that even if a video game is good, even if a video game is fair with its business model, much like Path to Nowhere, it can still be performing poorly financially, which unfortunately goes to show not only us as players, but also companies one very important thing. The key to a successful gacha game is to be as predatory as possible and treat your players as if they're money printers. Because at the end of the day, a fraction of a player base whaling tens of thousands of dollars is likely going to equate to a significantly higher return than a large percentage of players spending a few dollars. This is something the studio behind Path to Nowhere is learning the hard way, I think. But how popular is the game exactly? Has the game been growing or is the game in a perpetual state of decline since its release several months ago? That's what we're here today to take a look at, to see how Path to Nowhere is currently doing in 2023 as part of my Gacha in 2023 video series. And as you can see by the graph that I created specifically for this game and that I'll be using for every game in this video series moving forward, it's not doing that well. Now, for those of you interested, you can actually find the other episodes in this series either at the end of this video or by clicking that link in the description or the pinned comment below. That way you can find out how your favorite games are holding up. Before we take a look at Path to Nowhere, I also want to thank every one of our patrons over on Patreon. You guys allow for me to keep pushing out video after video and I deeply appreciate all of your guys' support. Also, if you have a moment, consider following me over on Twitch. I stream there every weekend. Pat to Nowhere is a strategy RPG with a focus on deploying a small number of units and engaging waves of enemies. The game launched on October 27, 2022 and went down as one of the highest quality, more fair gacha game releases of the entire year featuring incredible quality voice acting, a deep complex story, three dimensional characters, a decent gameplay loop, albeit a bit of a lack of content at Endgame. But it is a new release. Over time, there will be plenty of opportunities to expand. As the game released in the final week of October, it is impossible to get an accurate gauge of its earnings. There were only a few days left of October after its release after all. However, November is where we can get a full idea of how the game did. Beginning with the month of November 2022, Pat to Nowhere's first event, Lighthouse Morningstar, was held through November 24th, followed by the Chess Masters Conquest event on November 24th. Pat to Nowhere made approximately $7 million globally and $1 million within China. These earnings are across both Android and iOS devices. Admittedly, those numbers aren't bad. Pat to Nowhere is, after all, a much more niche game than larger open world gacha like Genshin Impact, like Tower Fantasy, like the upcoming Wuthering Waves, yet just shy of $10 million in its opening month with that kind of handicap is very impressive. It also managed to achieve over a million downloads within three days of its release, an accomplishment that is by no means an easy feat to achieve. December 2022 saw quite the decline in earnings over November 2022, which was to be expected given typically gacha games immediately begin to earn less each month after release. The reason for the decline was likely in part due to the limited events that ran through December, specifically the Dreamy Bubble Beach Illusions event that began December 13th and ran through December 20th along with a whole lot of gorgeous waifus to pull for. Earnings came in at $3 million globally and $1 million within China. China really hasn't been pulling its weight when a game of this caliber is barely noticed within its country. It also saw several hundred thousand new downloads. January 2023 was the largest blow to the game with Memento Mori, Nikkei, Arknights, and Blue Archive all improving from four to $10 million per game in the month of January. However, Pat to Nowhere saw a decline from $7 million just two months prior to a mere $1.6 million globally and $2 million within China. These numbers were of large disappointment to many players, with fans thinking that their game was doing incredibly well financially. And while $1.6 million or $3.6 million combined total is nothing to scoff at, comparatively, it is quite the drastic decline over such a short period of time, revealing quite the bleak future for the game. The Echoes of Phantasm Time event began on January 3rd and ran through January 17th, with January seeing multiple new waifus to recruit and various sets of attire to purchase for characters. 
January only saw a couple hundred thousand new downloads, once more showing the continued decrease in interest in the game. February has the same type of event as previous months planned, including new waifu recruits, new outfits to purchase, but will likely continue to see the game further decline in total players and earnings. Again, this decline is not specifically due to the game itself being bad. Path to Nowhere is not a bad game, not at all. This is actually one of my favorite gacha games of 2022, and arguably one of the highest quality gacha games that I've actually ever played. I just don't believe that Path to Nowhere is necessarily as predatory as is a lot of its competition. They seem to care more about uh, the user experience, I guess, than the larger numbers. And I, I, I can't fault them for that. That's one of the reasons, after all, that I like Punishing Grey Raven, that I like Azure Lane, and that I like Arknights. They're all fair gacha games that sacrifice maximizing their earnings in favor of presenting their players a chance at earning what they want in game. And I wish more studios did that, but, if Pat to Nowhere isn't your thing, you know what? No problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. One featuring a list of every confirmed gacha releasing this month in February 2023, and the other featuring a list of gacha games that I've covered in my gacha in 2023 series.